Hustletown Network. You're watching an exclusive Hustletown Network interview with Jessica Jean on 97.9 The Box. Hey, what's up, your homegirl, Jessica Jeans, and we are here at Hustletown Network at the 97.9 The Box studios, and it's my pleasure to announce the one and only Snow the Product here on the show today. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. So you've come a long way. So tell me how you've evolved, I mean, not just musically, but just as a person between now and then. I mean, I've grown, obviously, you know, the time weathers you and like you you definitely go through trials and and um i am somebody who always chooses to really learn from like every mistake like i'm like that that's the least you could do you know when you mess up sometimes even if you like lose money or you do whatever you're like damn at least if i learned from it then at least it didn't you know hurt so bad Yeah, yeah so um i think i've learned from like every single mistake i've made like people that i've had around like i learned how to really just be able to tell like who's really in it for you know for for helping and who's just looking for an opportunity and just different things that that i didn't sometimes you just walk into things wholeheartedly and just think everybody has the same intentions and they really don't so um those are some of the things and then obviously musically i feel like recently i i'm a lot more um open like i can share more of my story as opposed to before i think i was very closed off came to you yeah sharing and yeah like, okay. personal stuff you know like right. i would i would i would go hard everybody would be like oh snow rex snow rex but it wasn't ever really like snow has a song that i really am impacted by whereas now i think there's a lot more of that and it came from me just kind of knowing that i need to just open up and um i'm a cancer so it's hard to do that but when you do you're just it's floodgates i was just <laughs> i'm venting now everybody knows my life it's like it's over that's why i let you go had me crying all alone had me slipping on my money created Hustletown Network because of course there are other networks like the Bocos that I grew up listening to but as far as Houston was concerned I felt like there needed to be a voice or needed to be a network for the Latino the Chicano culture mm. and um, of course you being the leading lady thank I mean, you hands down leading thank lady. you for saying so, that yeah so you being here it's just it's amazing for the network it's amazing for the city and of course for Latinos in general tell us a little bit of a rundown uh, for those who don't know who you are and what you bring in I mean I'm I'm a rapper you know, for a long time, I've been representing Mexican culture. Um, before it was the the highlight of of you know talk points. Right now, before we had a president that's a douchebag like he is. Um, you know, I've just been out here repping, and I'm bilingual. I was raised half here, half in Mexico, so I know. A lot of times, you know, people rep, you know, Chicanos and, and everything. But sometimes you also got to remember there's Mexican-Americans that literally like I was over there milking cows and, you know, taking chickens, eggs and stuff like that. So it's like you 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 get raised by your first generation Mexican parents. And it's a little bit different to represent that. Like when you, when, you know, when we sing songs in Spanish at the shows and everybody starts singing, you know, <clears throat> mariachi and stuff that really taps into the cultural stuff that isn't necessarily represented all the time you know right. um and it's it's really dope because it, it gives you all the different levels and layers of what latinos are you know not only mexican but just in general hispanic latinos latinx whatever we're yeah, calling man, ourselves call now us, yeah. at this point like it's everyone's <laughs> arguing over what to call us and i'm like look man as long as we're getting mentioned because there's some arguments and some politics stuff that we're not even getting mentioned right. in, you know so to me that's really what what i'm all about and um and i have a bunch of music out there and you know whether you love it or hate it i feel like come to a show and then make your decision because I feel like my shows are a whole different thing than the music. It's a whole experience and I talk up there and we chant and we sing mariachi and my I dance banda with my mom and it's definitely something exciting and like interesting and I like that there's a lot of fans that have been going to my shows for six years and they still keep coming, you know, because they're like every single one's different. So um, yeah, catch a show next time I'm out here at Warehouse. So the best thing you can do for me right now is to not bear me in front of my mom. We got a sold out music show. Watch out, motherfucker. That's what I like about you is because you do have, you know, you can spit in English all day, but then you just switch it up and you're doing the Spanish and you're going hard with it. You send in a message and you don't use yeah. what 
the labels or what the business would like women to do you yeah. know selling sex and whatnot i mean you're selling bars you're selling you know real real music so i admire that about you so much thank you um with crossing over and working with different artists name some of the artists that stand out for you that you've worked with in the music industry right now i mean right now the biggest collab that i'm talking about is arcangel you know just because i feel like um Urban music in Spanish is getting so much, you know, like love right now. And it's dope that I can really cross over that way. And I've been doing it for so long. You know, back I used to work with like Temperamento and Alex Fat and like a lot of different rappers in the East Coast. And then now that's all getting its the whole shine and wave. And it's all the same people that were working back then. So it's crazy how um, even out here in, in Texas, you know, I used to work with a bunch of people. I mean, SPM shouted me out saying that I was that I went hard, you know. So to me, I feel like as long as I've been doing it the dope thing is that people that are credible are the people that are shouting me out you know everybody that that has been repping and that has been um, rapping for a long time um, and doing it the right way which is how I've been doing it yeah so speaking of that everybody wants to know when's a full album dropping I, I think we should be working towards that and you know for now I've been working with my artists with um, Castro Escobar and AJ Hearns and Lex um, and we dropped Vibe Higher and that's on YouTube and the fans have been reacting to it really well and you know my next plan is music videos collaborations with you know young up and coming artists and get it popping yeah yeah so I mean I see you definitely businesswoman you have you know your your line your clothing uh, the movement mm -hmm. and so um, is there a new label possibly coming yeah I think so I think you know for a long time I've been kind of hinting towards it and, and I think the biggest thing I've been working on is the infrastructure of it um, a lot of people kind of do it backwards and they just you know put on a bunch of artists but the one thing that I can say right now is that the background is solid like I've been touring for so many years with my brother is my tour manager video guy editor you know he knows how to embroider so everything he does <laughs> graphics literally that man does everything nice. and my 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 cousin is my merch person literally we press up all our own stuff and that's my cousin so um, besides that all the friends that I live with like this is like a real little compound situation. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. And I clearly put Castro Escobar. I mean, I'm probably still practicing on it. You know what I'm saying? We out here. I'm thinking about this one though. It's something like that. A lot better than that pizza crap. I oh, <laughs> we lost my phone and that shit is not locked. Oh, oh wait. This is my big bitch right here, you know what I'm saying? My big bitch right here, baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, pull up with a dude. Got two dance in a room. I can see why people become botanists. Botanists like plants and shit, right? Yeah. If you think about it, these are live things. Like us. I'm not just high. I mean, I'm a little high, but think about that, man. Think about that. We vibing higher right here. So they say that if you talk to plants, they grow bigger and they grow faster. Could you imagine if you talk nice to people? Think about that one. We've really learned how to work together yeah, and you got a team going. Yeah, we've we we we've been through real rough stuff out on the tour. Whenever we're like in a twelve passenger van and like it's broken down and we're screaming at each other like you fucked up, you fucked you know, <laughs> that's that's what really weathers you and like makes you yeah. strong. So the infrastructure of this team is super strong and now all we gotta do is just get different artists, put them in and, and put them out there. Cause the easy the easy part is being on stage. A lot of these rappers don't know like the easy part is recording and being on stage. You call yourself a rapper because those are the two things you're doing. That's not what right. rap is about. You know, the majority of the people that watch this network and are going to be watching this are independent underground artists right now. So, yeah. so give them the message. So they should know that they, you know, a lot of times because I've had I've had people that I kind of put on and then they're like, you know, I do this. I do that. I'm like, yo, everybody wants to be on the mic. Everybody wants to have the fans. Everybody wants to have people shout your name. Like, that's the easy part. The hard part is all the politics, all the networking, all the people you know talking crap in the room with you and you have to sit there and just kind of be like i'm not about to kick your ass but just know when i blow up i don't fuck with you you right, know right. so um that that's the that's a difficult part and i think we kind of have been figuring it out lately that's why things are kind of working out that's what's up so you know the business and uh you know you definitely know the music and you, you know with the culture that that's a big thing right now that for me i want to be able to showcase is, is a lot of that uh, you know, Mexicano culture, you're proud of it. How important is it for 
you to know Spanish, for anybody to know Spanish, because I feel like there's a lot of the new generation is just kind of letting that language go. I understand that there's a lot of people, especially in Texas, because I, I definitely know that, you know, Texas and Mexico, I mean, in, in uh, L.A., was very affected by people that kind of made fun of people who spoke Spanish. So then some people kind of got traumatized and they didn't teach their kids Spanish. So I understand it, mm -hmm. but definitely um, putting, like if you're an artist at least and you're repping that Mexican flag and you're doing all that, you gotta at least put a little bit of effort into it because it's like, yo, like this is where we, you know, where we come from. This is our people. Like if you go back to Mexico, you know, you wanna at least be able to communicate. But um, I mean, I don't know. I think, I think it's dope. Try it. Even if you're white, I have a lot of white fans that like learn Spanish to, you know what I'm saying? Because of it or go, ay, 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 you know, you said this line, what does that mean? And to me, the fact that they care, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. they're like embracing it, that they're like, I saw your mom in the video and I, I love it. Like, how do you, you know, what is this? Like, that's dope. Or every time that I get like white fans or black fans that go like, oh, I wish I was Mexican. Like, that's dope. <laughs> because growing up, like yeah. I, people, we didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? Like Mexican, well, we didn't have somebody to look up to really that, that exactly. would make you, you know, be so proud to be Mexican or hear a white person say I wish I was Mexican what like no we that didn't used to happen so it's pretty dope and I just love the fact that I even have that impact on even 10 people 20 people you know that they have a new respect for Mexicans and that's my biggest thing awesome awesome so that brings me to a lot of your videos so the waste of time is one of the videos I think that a lot of people like it's cute I like it everything you're saying it's like all girls can relate to that yeah. and then it was just so simple it was just well shot it was just like in, in the diner area you know you have your little extras back there yeah and uh, so tell me about that album or at least the inspiration behind you writing that <clears throat> um <laughs> story. yeah okay. it is and uh I don't know I just feel like there's a lot of people that are a waste of time that you know you put so much effort into a relationship or trying to talk or trying to do this and that and then you just end up being like wow like this really was like a complete waste of time like I made you a priority when I really shouldn't have which sometimes that's our fault ladies out there don't make somebody such a priority I would like a fucking breakdown when were you planning on fucking telling me that ever since we started talking you've been on your jealousy but in the meanwhile you've been talking to Penelope and Heather and Alicia and Stephanie and Melanie and phone looking like a PD Pablo song a friend of me and now I'm like no getting attached I'm gonna go I'll be alright I'm better alone Getting attached I'm gonna go I'll be alright I'm better alone Cause you a fucking waste of time Cause you a fucking waste of time My brother shot that video, you know, and that's another video that like um, everybody in the background is my family or, you know, uh, that's my baby daddy in the front. And the, oh, that's the, okay. uh, the buff guy. Yeah. 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 So um, that's it. You know, we pretty much just shoot stuff and then it it relates to people. And that's why, because it's just so real and yeah, raw and yeah. it doesn't even, you know, it doesn't need a very many effects or very many anything. It's just me venting and talking about Stephanie and Melanie and phone looking like a Petey Pablo's long offended me, you know. <laughs> so that's it. That's what's up. So uh, tell me about the MTV experience and uh, the immigrant song and all of that. Oh, it was crazy. I can't believe, technically, I mean, I have a VMA and it's all thanks to Lin-Manuel and Hamilton and, you know, telling such an amazing story about immigrants. Um, that's an opportunity that came randomly and I kind of just forgot about it. Like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it, but I'm just gonna forget about it because I don't want to get my hopes up. And then when we're shooting the video and then it's winning a VMA and all that, I was like, oh, shoot, it's real. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, congratulations on Thank that. You. And also on uh, Queen of the South. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Another thing I forgot about. Yeah. I, I did the audition and I just put it, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna forget play? about it. Uh, um, La Traviesa. Little Traviesa, yeah. Okay, there you go. And then, um, and then, yeah, and then it happened and I'm shooting and I got my star wagon and I'm getting treated like a real actress and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> But and the soundtrack also, so you just kind of they knew you were an artist, obviously. So yeah. Did you, uh, you know, that they come up, you know, to you. Yeah, they were fa actually. There was a lot of people that on the writing staff and like in the background that was fans of my music. The actors kind of didn't really know my music yet. They they know it now. But um, in the beginning, it was really just everybody in the background, like the, the writers and producers and stuff that knew my music. So they were like, "You think you can make a song?" And they're like, "How long would it take?" And I'm like, I, "You could give me a break of like six hours. I'll come back and you know it'll be done." And and that's pretty much what happened. I left shooting, I went to the studio, I recorded, and then I came back and the song was done and we shot the video. Awesome. So yeah. I got a couple of more questions for you. Let's talk about um, AJ Hearns, who I watched grow up. I know you drunk, but you say I'm crazy. And I feel the same. I'm on the way, and I'm feeling drunk. 
You yeah. also have another upcoming artist. What's his name? Castro Escobar. I've been thinking about all the times that I've been betrayed and it's made me want to get faded so much that the homie's saying, I think you should take it easy. He just don't understand me. These haters say they can't stand me. I act like everything's dandy. It can't be. I was born with the youngest. Don't hit the lotto. You either a soccer player or dream of being a chopper or narco. Everyone is persuaded by these surroundings. I might be the dopest lyricist coming out of my county. Castro Escobar. Yeah. So tell me about them and why those talents stood out for you. Um, They're super dope. Look, I've been doing interviews for so long representing Mexicans and being like, you know, we need more Latin artists. We need more Mexican artists that are really about the culture and that really understand it and, you know, everything. And then people would be like, like, who? And I mean, not to diss anyone, but there, you know, obviously there's some things that I see on other artists that I'm just like, oh, well, I know the background of that. So I know how that got done. Like, I don't really fuck with that, you know. So um, but I had heard of. AJ and I knew he was bilingual and I knew you know what I'm saying I had seen him dance and rap and sing and rap right, and everything time. and he's talented you know same thing with Castro I was gonna perform in Houston and somebody goes have Castro Escobar open for you and I was like I went and watched his one video and I was like I want to sign him Ooh. and from then everybody starts retweeting and he's gassed <laughs> up he's tripping whatever I had a real conversation with him heart to heart and um and that's when I flew him out to LA and I was like okay let's figure out what we can do and he told me about another kid that's really talented in the background um EC and so I flew him out and I was like all right let's see what we could do and it just so happened he was like DACA recipient and the H-Town stuff affected him and it was just all these things that was affecting Houston kids there's three guys that I have on my tour right now from Houston and it was all because really it was vibes it was like you know bad people were falling off from my life and good people were coming in and it just became this whole vibe thing where yeah. um I'm just taking the signs and just being like let's see what we could do with it all I know Overtime, baby. Yeah. Say so ain't worried about the things I do. I say the same thing, but we know it isn't true. I hit the studio on late nights. Think about how we treat each other, it ain't right. All them scenes that we cause during them late nights. But I don't think that we care if we really ain't fight. True. I love you for real. Even though I showed the opposite, you stay with me still. You gave me everything that I ain't never thought could be real. It made me feel every way I thought I never would feel. Yeah, that's true involvement right there, because I can see that, because once you start to realize that the people surrounding you and how many phonies and people looking for opportunities or yeah. writing coattails and all of that, they start to, like, you start to be awakened and start to see, like, okay, this yeah. is what's going on. And then you start to realize, I got to protect myself, um, not only just as a business person, but just as, you know, your zen. Yeah, you, you exactly. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. When you when you, when you you start not being around a particular person and somehow you feel better, mm -hmm. you got to you gotta notice, you know what I'm saying? And they got to like, be on that same level with you. They gotta they gotta genuinely want to see you succeed yeah. and then you know just kind of everybody succeeding you can't have anybody kind of yeah. you know half-assing it you yeah. know, gotta be on that same grind yeah and it's one of those things I, I, I am so hands-on with my career that whenever anybody starts feeling themselves because their followers weren't up because of me and then they're like you know what do you do for me I'm like oh I do a lot let me tell you <laughs> and then they kind of I could do it on my own and then you stay go do it on their own and you're like it yeah. doesn't look like you could do it on your own, bro. So, you know, keep it go over there and we're going to keep happens. moving over here. Yeah. And um, that's really what's been going on right now. And musically, I feel like they're awesome. They really have the real story. Castro, he, you know, he crossed the border. Like he literally, I tell that on the tour. I'm like, you know, this guy crossed the border and became legal and ha now has a rap career and is touring the country. Some of y'all rappers have no excuse for what the hell y'all are doing right, right. to not leave your city. There like you real go. shit. There you so, go. Um, he's so conscious about a lot of the stuff that I've heard a couple of things that he's done. Yeah. And I love him lyrically like you could just hear the consciousness and what he's spitting yeah and they still have room to grow they're young so to me um that's the most amazing thing and any man that can take direction from a woman i think definitely deserves respect because you know we we go in more than the guys do <laughs> we're like what, what what is that shirt what are you wearing what is that don't do that <laughs> they'd be like oh man really <laughs> yeah so i'm mama bear now <laughs> that's what's up but i do want to talk to you about being a mom talk yeah a little bit about that yeah that's um like you open up with the business and being a mom it's the most difficult thing. I think that's the most difficult thing. That's the most weighing thing. You know, you can feel the vibe. It just got dark. No, uh, no, but definitely it's, it's, it's hard because you always feel like you're not doing enough for this or for that. And you know that if I half ass my dream, I can't be like, you can follow your dream. Like, I never want to look at him and be like, I failed at what I was trying to achieve. So it's one of those things where it's like, I have to push myself to do what I need to do, but also know I'm walking away from him for a couple months to go on the road. And also know that while I'm on the road, I am entitled 
entitled to have fun because when I am at home, I all my time goes to him. So it's like it's one of those things you kind of take the judgment and the the criticism and the hating and the time away from your kid and everything. But I used to always bring him on the road, but he hates it now. Like he doesn't like he doesn't like, you know, being backstage and in the green room and stuff. So um, now he has a cell phone and then he'd be texting me and I'd be like, don't go on the Internet, you know. So it's it's hard. But because I'm so immature, too. I, it's kind of cool. He's my little homie. I'm his homie, and we're cool. That's what's up. Yeah, till he's a teenager, and then we're going to have problems. <laughs> <laughs> I, or dating. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> None of that. That's no pregnancies. I don't even know. What are you doing to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to just thank you for being here. You're thank definitely you. an inspiration. I uh, just dig your stuff. Y'all thank you. awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep representing for La Raza. Thank you again for being here, Snow. You're watching an exclusive Hustletown Network interview with Jessica Jeans on 97.9 Oak Box. I got my ex calling. Got my new one stalling. Jobs ain't calling back. I got my back against the wall. And everybody in my life lacking while I've been all in. I've been here back and forth in traffic. Boy, I be mobbing. I've been trying to get the back. I've been all in this robbing. Bitch, if you knew I've worked this hard, then why y'all the talking? I've been chasing all this. Catching these deposits. Trying to make an option for me and my partners. So when I look back and I hear bitches with the talking, why the fuck would I approach you haters with some caution? I got so much drama, can't explain right now. But you wouldn't know it, I've been on my way right now. Yeah, hey, what you say? Oh. I've been out here vibing high and I ain't gon' fall I can give a fuck about what they say Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway They better off falling back, falling back, falling back, oh I've been out here vibing high and I ain't gon' fall I can give a fuck about what they say Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway I don't really care about what they say I've been having tunnel vision sipping every day Too much going on on the phone right now I got these bitches in my business but I'm gone right now Ay, Yeah, I don't need that type of vibe Keep a baddie on the side, best believe she looking fine Pop a pill, trying to leave, yeah I do this all the time I ain't wanna deal with nothing so I left it all behind And I went to the bar, ayy Whipping a car, ayy. Three in the morning, I'm swinging and swerving all up in a lot, ayy. Yeah, said I'm gone right now. I'm just really trying to be alone right now, ayo. What you say? Oh, I've been out here vibing high and I ain't gon' fall. I can give a fuck about what they say. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. They better off falling back, falling back, falling back, oh. I can give a fuck about what they say Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway Yeah, lately I've been feeling like this shit ain't working now And lately I've been drinking, I've been slumped, that's where to God Fuck all that bullshit that y'all be saying I know I gotta leave and do my thing I'ma pull it up, roll a blunt Pop a bar and slow it up Keep the drama off my phone right now I don't give a fuck, I'm in my zone right now Yeah. What you say? Oh, I've been out here vibing high and I ain't gon' fall I can give a fuck about what they say Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway They better off falling back, falling back, falling back Oh, I've been out here vibing high and I ain't gon' fall I can give a fuck about what they say Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway